say goodbye to my little friend. Pull up, pull up, pull up! What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Welcome to the wild side. Wild, wild, wild. Welcome to the wild side. Wild side. When I first got into FPV, it was because I wanted to explore the unique perspective that FPV has to offer. And as I've spent the last few years building a business in the world of FPV, I've kind of lost track of that joy that I got from just like, let's go out and fly. So I'm gonna do an INAV FPV wing so that I have to learn, so that I have to explore. And then in the process of kind of getting this thing in the air and figuring out how to fly it, I'm gonna try to get back in touch with those exploration FPV roots, the, the analog, the, the nitty gritty. So. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I picked this plane for a few different reasons. One of them, it's pretty, should be pretty easy to assemble. I'm not a big fan of the arts and crafts aspect of uh, plane assembly. Because I'm gonna be modifying this to add in this Maytech flight controller, I wanted something that was really easy to work with and easy to modify. Gosh dang, that's a clean little build, super easy to set up, just as easily as it goes together when I wanna take it apart. Wing and spars out, tails out, tails out, boom, back to basics. Okay, good news, but also kind of bad news for me. I think this thing is ready. Let's pop this thing open. I'll show you kind of how I've got everything wired up in case I end up smashing it here on the maiden flight. So under the main cover, I've got the battery connector. I've got the FPV camera. I just use a little bit of glue to keep that wire stuck to the outside. And then the FPV camera peeks out the little dedicated hole in the face of it. Then I've added the buzzer slash USB-C to this one so that I only have to take this cover off to be able to change settings. Now moving further back, Obviously underneath the GPS cover is our GPS module. Then in here we've got our VTX here on this side, runs into the flight controller, full TBS control on that. The flight controller connects to the crossfire which is back there. The ESC that came with it was not working so I just used an old TBS single and that fired up right away, spins the motor no problem. I'm pretty fired up with how this build looks. Let's get everything kind of finished up, buttoned up, and we'll take it out for a maiden. Okay, came out to the park, we got the plane, got the controller. Nice calm day. It's gonna be an absolute disaster. We're gonna fly it in fully manual mode because that's the recommended thing to do before you get everything trimmed out. And we'll just go out that way, hopefully. Roll right, roll left, nose down, nose up. Should be good. <laughs> this is horrifying. Say goodbye to my little friend. A lot of nose down. Oh, yes. I touched it down, I didn't break it. Don't judge my Crocs. She's still in one piece. So let's try taking off in angle mode and see if that is more confidence inspiring. Okay, here goes nothing. It just flipped over on purpose. Why did you do that? Thanks to me beating the crap out of this thing, the battery strap has fully come out. Oh, planes. I can't wait to see all the comments of like, oh, you idiot, you did this thing wrong. And that's why it wasn't flying. Let's go home, find some Velcro or something and uh, get a new FPV camera in here. So we can do to keep this thing in the air. A few moments later. Okay, so what's different? My elevator authority was set to 50%. Uh, I increased that up to 100. It went from barely throwing the elevator at all to actually being a pretty significant amount. Then I glued the actual tail wings in place and then I fixed the camera and re-glued it. So everything should be back up and running. Let's just get right into it. All right, here we go. Oh, game changer. We did it. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it the same thing again, but I'm gonna just try throwing it into angle mode quickly and see if that works when it's not just being launched. And angle mode. Whoa! Okay, something's wrong with angle mode. Why would it do that? Oh, there's the GPS module from earlier. Oh, we are not, we're not good. Dang it. 
<sighs> and on our way back to the field yet again. I had a mixer set up that was backwards of what it was supposed to be. Hopefully it works this time and doesn't smash itself into the ground. We'll see. <sighs> Let's get back over. Okay, I am now confident enough in my engineering skills that we're gonna launch this in angle mode and it's gonna work. What? Well, I'm not sure what's going on with angle mode, but I really wanna try some FPV because that's what I really actually know. Two seconds later. No, I'm not going to fly FPV because the freaking signal wire on the camera came out. So the camera doesn't work. So I can't fly at FPV even. <sighs> Don't worry about that. I'm gonna go home again. Fourth time, fix the uh, FPV camera, and then, I don't know, I guess keep digging and see if I can find something that I'm doing wrong. <sighs> Should've just stuck with drones. All right, we out. Oh boy, I think we actually figured it out. Turns out I had the servo cables for each of the two servos in the V-tail on the wrong port. And I thought I had fixed it in software and then I didn't. And then I switched them physically. And it turns out that I switched them to the wrong direction and then unswitched them, then had the wrong software. Now I finally kind of did a full reset and in my yard did a hand launch and it flew straight and level. So I think angle mode is working. Probably not, but let's see. All right, unquestionable angle mode launch. It's gonna work this time. Still doesn't work. It seems to be intact enough for an FPV run, so I'm at least gonna do that. At least this is really nice. Let's see, so now that I'm actually getting to kind of look through this, the uh, amp counter is pretty cool, seeing like how much is being consumed. Distance traveled, so I've already gone two kilometers total. That's cool. The compass is really nice. The video signal is amazing. Pretty fired up about that. Pull up, pull up, pull up! Oh. oh, she did not want to pull out of that dive. That was super sketchy. Ugh. Not a very good landing. Hey, FPV works. I just can't get it to work in any other mode, so. I think we're gonna have a break for the day. Or maybe for a little bit at least. Please comment below if you know what I'm doing wrong. But I wanted to take the Insta360 GO 3 for a ride on the plane since this is the perfect little camera for a little plane. So let's get this mounted up, go out for a flight with HD. Okay, I'm actually coming back in the door from that flight right at this second. And I gotta tell you, that was the first time I've actually had fun. I had a lot of fun. A little bit of proximity, a little bit of long range testing. We did 22 kilometers distance traveled with this thing. It was awesome. And now I'm really looking forward to the next flight and the next flight. So I really wanna get all of these other features dialed in so that I can continue to just enjoy it. So now I'm gonna really dive in, try to figure out all of the details to make sure this thing can fly with iNav and with all of the GPS features and even just basic stability. I am so stoked right now. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stay flying.